Hello car people! Today is an exciting day. We're gonna go pick up some wheels for the Daihatsu a try. A flash up on the screen. We're gonna go pick up some FBRX7 wheels because 4x110 is a really strange bolt pattern and the only thing that's gonna fit that I'm gonna be able to find are RX7 wheels. So let's go grab them. Quick pit stop here at Michael's Off-Road Homeland, which is right next to where these FB wheels are that we just grabbed and we're on the way back home now. I'm gonna go roll this into the garage to see if I can fit those FB wheels on. The tires are quite a bit bigger. It's not that much bigger. They're 185, 70. Fingers crossed, we'll finally be able to get these ancient dry rotted pieces of crap off it. Finally got this thing in the garage. It was super close, but Michael was like, just deflate the tires, dude. And boom, air ride. We're on bags practically. All right, so after ripping all those down, finally gonna jack it up and try these wheels on. Oh God, these are officially the tightest lug nuts I've ever seen. I don't know. It was just like from sitting forever or if this dude put him on with all his life, but look at this. Oh, every single one's been like that. Terrible. Who does that? Oh, look at that tiny little rotor. Tiny pad. Lots of life left on the pads. So these rotors have definitely seen some better days. So it's gonna look pretty cool, but unfortunately they don't fit. Wheel still doesn't go on all the way because the hub, this hub right here is too big. So, gotta get that machined out. I like that spider. So we're getting the tires removed now. My friend Tony here is helping me out. Shout out Tony. So pop these off. Get that center board done. And now we're gonna head over to my friend Andrews for a quick buff. So now we're back at my house. Sorry for jumping around everywhere. As you can see, Andrew did a fantastic job on that headlight. You can compare the two. This one's super foggy and brown. That one's nice and clear. I laid it up to here so you can tell the difference side by side. It's pretty crazy. And he also did this compared to that. We're gonna get to doing the rest of it right now and hopefully she transforms into a minty rye. Pretty big difference as you can see. I just went like this. Boop, 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 boop. All right, a good amount of stuff back here. So we're gonna try this next. Well, that cleaned up nicely. The leftover spots there are actually gashes in the bumper. Herb looking less bunk by the minute. Well, I had to jinx myself there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The paint was super thin here and I wasn't being careful enough and I ate right through it. So that's gonna be our, our battle scar for today. But if that's the only L we take and hopefully it is, whatever. I'll have to get all of this repainted at some point anyway and taken off with some body work cause it's not perfect as you can see. I guess now we're just matching. No biggie. Gonna continue on. I think this is one of the craziest transformations yet. Look at this. <laughs> that is so crazy. McGuire's ultimate in a Powerball going to work. So I just picked up the wheels from my boys at Fusion. Shout out those guys, especially Wilson. And check out that sucker. All right, so here's a closer look at what had to be done on these bad boys. As you can see right there, it was bored from 60 millimeters to 67. A nice little chamfer here, so that's very nice. Hopefully these finally clear everything and I can mount them up, but we won't know until we know. I'm gonna get these tires mounted back on and we'll see. So a moment of truth. I think they're gonna rev a little bit. Hopefully not crazy. Probably gonna contact right here though. All right, we just lowered it down. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything it's gonna rub on. It might be the other side it's rubbing. The inner fender well looks like, looks not bad at all. Like there's a lot of room in the back. Dude, these things look freaking awesome. They're so shiny. Let's go see what they look like driving. Forgot to film an outro last night, but here is the outside walk around of the car. As you can see, the tires poke quite a bit, but it looks way better than the Steelys, and I think I'm really happy with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.